Hello students, uh, in this video we are going to discuss the concept of time value of money and uh, since uh, I will be uploading the series of this concept, uh, step by step concepts uh, uh, to describing uh, what is the future value, present value, how to calculate, compounding and so on. So of this series, of this concept series, this is the first video and in which we will be discussing how to calculate the future value using interest factor whatever amount you have today in your pocket uh, which means you have a present value it will be represented as present value and uh, if you are planning to deposit it for one year which means uh, you will deposit the amount today and uh, you want to calculate the amount uh, whatever amount you have in your account after one year uh, so this uh, period will be represented as n so how much amount will you have after one year in your account this is the question mark and uh, this will be represented as the future value and definitely there is a, there will be a differential of the amount between the future value and present value and uh, definitely the amount of future value will be more than the amount of present value then there must be a rate that will be offered by the bank or the depository company uh, in which you are planning to deposit so let's take this uh, present value is represented as PV future value at time n is represented as future fv interest rate represented as r and in this case it can be says as as compounding rate per period n is years and uh, the formula to calculate the future value using interest factor is present value into 1 plus r raised to power n the student in this case uh, here 1 plus r raised to power n is the compounding factor uh, which means uh, it will increase the present value at time n uh, in order to get the future value uh, for the specified period let's take the question number one a person deposited rupees 1000 for one year in account at the rate of 10 percent how much will he have in account after one year the 10% rate is being offered by the bank against the deposit which means the person depositing the amount will get the 10 advantage of 10% against its against his deposit so the data extraction is as follows uh, the present value is 1000 uh, the amount which uh, the person uh, depositing today r is the rate which is 10 percent and one year and we need to calculate the future value after one year so using the uh, future value interest factor formula uh, we insert the amount uh, as like this where uh, uh, future value is equal to 1000 in the brackets one plus uh, 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 we put i put 0 0.21 which is the 10 percent raised to power 1 so uh, after calculating the factor 1 plus 0.1 raised to power 1 we will get the uh, answer of this factor uh, 1.1 and uh, in the next step it will be multiplied with the present value which is 1000 and uh, uh, you will get the future value of rupees 1100 which means uh, the person deposited 1000 today uh, will get 11 ha will have 1100 in his account uh, in which uh, with the uh, advantage of uh, 100 of the amount as a profit against his deposit so let's take the question number two a person depositing rupees 1000 for two years in account at 10 percent how much how much will he have in account after two years 
now here is the new information the man uh, the person depositing the amount and wanted to calculate uh, the future value after two years so let's uh, discuss this uh, how the compounding works since uh, the person is planning to deposit for two years and wanted to calculate uh, uh, the future value after two years so uh, the deposit amount uh, will remain same after one year in the account but the advantage the person will get uh, will be uh, the 10% the bank is offering uh, will be charged on 1000 and the bank will add 100 in his account and after adding this amount the person will have 1100 in his account uh, this amount which we have already calculated in the question number one but since uh, in the second question the person required to calculate the future value after two years so which means uh, we need to uh, go one go for one more year so how it will be calculated uh, the bank now uh, will charge the 10 percent a uh, markup or profit on the amount of 1100 instead of 1000 it is because after spending one year the person having 1100 in his account so after adding uh, the second year profit which is 110 the person will have in his account uh, will be 1210 so using the question uh, against uh, the formula uh, the data extraction is the present value rupees 1000 and uh, against uh, the offer rate of the bank is 10 percent and he's depositing for two years and we need to calculate the future value using the same formula uh, the data that will be inserted will be as uh, 1000 uh, in the bracket 1 plus 0 0.10 which is the 10 percent raised to power 2 now here we added 2 instead of 1 it is because the ma the person is uh, planning to deposit for two years and uh, wanting to uh, calculate the future value after two years in his account so uh, just added 1 plus 0 0.1 and in the in this step here the f value of the factor will increase to 1.21 as you, you you see as you saw in the previous slides the uh, power of one will uh, provide you the same factor and uh, when you increase the power then the factor will be the value of factor will be increased <coughs> so keeping the power of two the factor is 1.21 and then in the final step you will multiply this factor with 1000 and you will get the same answer 1210 which we uh, got in our previous slides previous slide so uh, students uh, this uh, is the uh, initial concept of time value of money using interest factor how to calculate the future value uh, Thank you so much for watching. I will be adding uh, more video in with uh, this with uh, simple concepts uh, that will be in a series. Uh, thank you so much for watching.